stripes on a, a morning wet. Feel the dirt. Many of you out there call it with me on Indian Trace. Feel the dreams. Because uh, it is a feel the dreams. And if we come out here and move slow enough, we're going to see that human beings who dreamed were here. I have four videos, and I guess it won't matter when you're watching this one, that I have not uploaded yet. <laughs> the last four videos, if you go through them all, I try not to make them long, but busy is good with all this crap going on in the country. Some of it completely insignificant for the last four months. Significant to some politically, but they're sick. We're not going to go into that here in the sun and the cool warmth of the morning. I have found some artifacts. I just got done saying to myself, you know, and I look, I watch, I see a lot of the artifacts you guys find and it's just inspiring. Where's my marker? Okay, it's right there. And I said, my goodness, I haven't even been able to watch the video. I said, man, I'm gonna have to wait for that. I mean, I think I saw Kentucky, you put one up. I think it's what, Kentucky Arrowhead Adventures or something like that, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, and I dare not take a step here. And I said, oh my word, I can't even watch that video now. <sighs> and I love it. Finding good stuff. I mean, whether it's Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, you guys, man, find some great artifacts. So let me show you how this happened. I find some, some good stuff. I do. So I'm going to share a little bit of it. It's different. This is eastern central North Carolina. And I'm walking up here and I'm saying, uh, and look at this. We're going with sweet potatoes here. So we can have some big rainstorms and some of this dirt can melt out. They might give me a double, a double row here. They might come in and turn it again, a double chance. And I said to myself, you know, I haven't found a, and I know that they used to make them here, some really great quality Guilford. The best Guilford Yumas I've ever found, I found here at this site. And uh, look at what I found so far this morning, just fantastic stuff going on. Site 4. Wait till you see some of this stuff. Look at this pottery. And this is really why I, I stopped because I just had said that about the Guilford Yuma. I mean, we're talking jumping back in time 5,000 years minimum, 6,000 years for the Guilford Yuma. And uh, I was here maybe two, three days ago. But we had a couple little showers, nothing heavy. So I was picking up this pottery in the wetness, thinking about how today I might live my best day right underneath this sweet potato plant. Nice patterns. Pottery probably pressed into baskets. Smoothed in many of these with stone or with their fingers. Usually if I feel it, this one's fingers, I can feel the indentation. Not of the fingers, but the way it was pressed. And uh, what that tends to do with a piece of pottery is it makes the pottery un uh, like that. Uh, as opposed to, yeah, like that. See, this is completely smooth. When you feel it with your finger, there is no undulation. I wish I could show you, and I'll take the time. They use a stone or something to smooth and press that into a basket where some other places like here, this piece here, and you can feel it with your thumb, is undulated. And that just means that human hands pressed that into the basket and that was good enough. It means a lot. It could separate them by centuries, two, three hundred years. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Much more. It could be, this pottery could be separated by 500 years. 
Here is the, the nipple on the base. It's super thick usually, but if you can see it, see, it was, it was right side up and this was the fairy base. They had conical bases on these uh, early to mid woodland pottery. That's a, a good find to find the base piece. We don't find a whole lot of pottery. Some people find so much pottery they're tired of it. Uh, I talked to some friends and they just find so much. It's all relative, right? Here in Eastern North Carolina, you don't find a whole lot. I, I think it's valuable no matter what. Super rustic. Now look at this. Good field finds. Tend not to think this is a point. Tend to think this is a thumb scraper. Made to get some work done. Pretty convinced of that nowadays. And then gets hotter. Hot quartz, Morrow Mountain. Super resilient, made just the way they wanted it. Nothing fancy, just a food getter, as well as this. Look at this piece, every inch work, just the way they wanted it. And Rhyolite is super resilient as a stone. Super resilient. So I am thinking to myself, when on earth will I be able to post those videos? <laughs> I have four that just chronicle some incredible finds. So by the time you see this, they're probably gonna be posted before this, so it doesn't really matter. Just live this, right? So you can experience it sometime, someday. Maybe this is broken, that'd be funny. It'd be a waste. But I don't really think these things are a waste. You and me. See, no human hands have touched this or needed it in 5,000 years. It's a strong, not, uh, they do, they, this is the kind they made here. As the sun here penetrates this dirt. It's dirty as can be, but that's gonna clean up super nice. Strong Guilford Yuma, just lending itself to a Guilford Yuma, but it's almost the Guilford Strait base. Yuma would go in a little bit right there. Let me see. The sun just beaming out now, everybody. Just the way they wanted it. Devastating 50 caliber at Lattle Dart tip. Devastating. So nothing fancy here in eastern central North Carolina, but uh, worth finding, worth sharing. I wouldn't be surprised you can't hear these gnats. Sorry. everybody finds out there. Be well.